Hello everyone. I am Chalma Reddy, Mathematics. Today I am going to discuss set trigonometric ratios. So what is trigonometry? So trigonometry came from two Greek words, trigonon and metron. Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that deals the relation between the measurements of sides and angles of a triangle. In this chapter, we discuss trigonometric functions, trigonometric ratios of compound angles, multiple, submultiple angles, transformations, sum and products, and uh, graphs and periodicity also. Okay, now first I am going to discuss that angle. What is the angle? An angle is the union of two rays having a common end point in a plane. What is angle? An angle is the union of two rays having a common end point in a plane. See the diagram? This is one line and this is another line. These are having same common point. That point is, we will say that uh, I'm denoting with O, this is called vertex, vertex. And here I'm denoting uh, one point this, that is A. OA is called initial line. Initial line. And uh, here I am denoting B. OB is called terminal line. Terminal line. So the amount of rotation in anti clockwise direction, this rotation. So that is, we are calling angle theta. The angle is the union of two rays having a common end point in a plane. The amount of rotation in anti-clockwise direction with respect to another line is called angle. Now, for suppose, see here, this is horizontal line. This is another line. This is O. The amount of rotation in the anti-clockwise direction, the angle regarded as positive. The amount of rotation in clockwise direction. Clockwise direction means you know very well. This is the clockwise direction. The amount of rotation in clockwise direction the angle regarded as negative. Students, are you understood? Anti-clockwise direction means angle regarded as positive. Clockwise direction means angle regarded as negative. So this is horizontal line only, OA. This is OB. This is O. This is A. This is B. So. Here, this is anti-clockwise direction. This is clockwise direction. So when we are getting positive angle, when we are getting negative angle, students, are you understood now? Measurement of an angle. There are three types. One is sexagesimal measurement. That is British system. So what is sexagesimal system? How to denote that? Sexagesimal system we are denoting with degree. Now, total turn, that means one circle. This is center. The circle is dividing into 360 parts. How many parts? 360 parts. Each part is called degree. Each part is called degree. 
it is denoted by 1 power 0 this is a symbol so 360 part means the total one round is 360 degrees one turn one turn how many degrees 360 degrees for suppose it is divided into four parts each part is called one right angle one right angle means how many degrees 90 degrees 360 divide with 4 you will get 90 degrees one right angle means 90 degrees pi radians means two right angles 180 degrees okay and 1 uh, degree is equal to 60 minutes 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds 60 seconds now 1 degree means approximately we can write 1 degree means we can write approximately in terms of radians 0.00 1745 radians radians now one radian is equal to so this is we will discuss uh, when we are discussing the radians so one turns dividing into 360 part each part is called 1 degree 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds students are you understood in centesimal system total turn it is dividing into 400 parts 400 equal parts now so i am taking this center now the total turn that means one circle dividing into 400 equal parts each part is called grade grade that means one grade each part is called grade grade is denoted by like this so here one right angle is equal to right angle when it will come it's dividing four parts each part is called one right angle so 400 parts it's dividing four parts means each part you will get 100 grades one right angle is equal to 100 grades one grade is equal to 100 minutes one minute is equal to 100 seconds okay in sexagesimal system and centesimal system the minutes and seconds are different the minutes and seconds are different there 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes here one grade is equal to 100 minutes students remember it so once again i am explaining what is centesimal system means total one circle is dividing into 400 parts each part is called grade it is denoted by 1 power g one right angle is equal to 100 grades one grade is equal to 100 minutes one minute is equal to 100 seconds in sexagesimal system and centesimal system minutes and seconds are different not same now i am going to circular system that is radian what is the radian a radian is the angle subtended at the center of a circle by an arc equal in equal in length to the radius of the circle the length of arc is equal to l is equal to r theta so here see the circle first draw the radius this is center of the circle this is radius draw the another radius also 
this is the radius so this part we will say that arc this part we will say that arc length of arc is denoted by l radius denoted by r angle between these two that is theta so here we will say that l is equal to r means the theta is one radian okay a radian is the angle subtended at the center of a circle by an arc equal in length to the radius of the circle the length of the arc l is equal to r theta this is relation between length of arc and radius and angle how to find area of arc tell me what is the formula students so that is a is equal to area of the sector is equal to half r square theta so here theta is a radian how to denote we are writing power c degree means this is 1 degree this is 1 grade this is 1 radian students are you understood one revolution means 2 pi radians that is 360 degrees pi radians means that is two right angles 2 into 90 180 degrees pi means 180 degrees 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radians pi by 180 radians so here pi radians is equal to 180 degrees one radian is equal to what 180 by pi radians now one degree means pi by 180 we will say like this now finally one degree is equal to pi by 180 that is 0.01745 and one radian is equal to 180 by pi degrees 180 by pi degrees so finally one radian is equal to approximately how much 57 degrees 17 minutes 46 seconds that is one radian value students this is remember it important 57 degrees approximately this is a symbol for approximately so i will write once again this is approximately symbol one radian is equal to 57 degrees approximately now what is the relation between these three systems three systems pi radians that is equal to 180 degrees that is equal to 200 grades once again listen pi radians 180 degrees 200 grades pi radians is equal to 180 degrees is equal to 200 grades this is relation between radians degrees grades remember it this formula 